Hello, 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 my dear student. In this week, we will cover experience two, which is about conservation of momentum. How do I conserve momentum? A conserved quantity is a quantity that remains constant or keeps the same value in isolated system. We already discussed the different types of systems. If a system is not an, uh, isolated and an external object interacts with the system, then the quantity may change. Therefore, it is no longer conserved. So we have here open system. When a system exchange matter with the surrounding environment, the mass of the system may change. And we will discuss this thoroughly in our class. So again, we're talking about conservation of momentum. We will revisit what is meant by momentum. We have linear momentum. What does it say? Is another example of a physical quantity that is conserved. The law of conservation of linear momentum states that if no external force acts on a system of particles, then the total linear momentum of the system does not change. This law is an extension of Newton's second and third law. If you can recall second law and third law, you will connect to it. Now, P is the initial linear momentum and PF is the final linear momentum. So here we will discuss many examples, go through them in details. Uh, since we are conceptual physics. Now, and we will start by solving a, same, a sample problem, conservation momentum in space. We'll go through it in details. And then I'll give you a question for you to make sure that you understand how to implement the formula. Then we'll talk about angular Momentum, always there is a linear motion and there is a circular motion. So, so far you, by now, you know that we have covered uh, all aspects of linear motion and we also have to mention the angular motion. So as long as there is linear momentum, there is angular momentum, but the conservation law stays the same. The initial uh, situation, is conserved to the final situation. We we'll go through also another example that we will discuss in details. Then we have the sample problem to solve. A rotating desk and a hoop interact. And we will solve it. We are given what is given as we are used to do in every new lesson that we take, solve many questions understand what does it mean and how it is reflected on our daily life. And this is the question that you should solve uh, in class independently. Then we have impulse momentum theorem. What is the meaning of impulse, how it's related to momentum? We will discuss that in details in our lesson. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.